friend, February's new moon holds something really significant for you. You need to start preparing now. There's not a huge amount of time, but this energy shift, this is real. This is the big one. And I hope that you can profit from it. You need to know what's going on, and I'm going to tell you all about it. So come and spend a few minutes with me and let's unpack this together. Hello, you gorgeous soul. Welcome to Elevate. My name is Ben, and I'm thankful for your company. So make sure, friend, that you are subscribed to the channel, that we are journeying together. Because today I wanna to talk with you about a big energy shift happening with February's new moon. We don't have a lot of time to prepare. And if you miss this, it's going to be some time before this opportunity presents itself again to you. And you say to me, Ben, what opportunity is there for me? The energy shift that comes with this new moon is one of significance, friends. You've got to go inside of yourself first. And I want to take this opportunity to remind you that taking time for yourself is not selfish. Self-care is never selfish. You see, friend, there is much work for you to do. You are here for a purpose, for a reason, with destiny unfolding. See, that's the dream in your heart. The dream is not there to taunt you. The dream is there to call you forward in the midnight hour when the valley of the shadow of death is all you can see and feel and sense. Your dream is supposed to pull you through that. But sometimes, sometimes the issues of life seem so big and so frightening that we lose our authentic power. We lose sight of the dream and we lose touch with the spirit within. I wanna tell you there is a new day coming for you. There is a new dawn arising over the horizon of your dreams, the dreams you once thought might be crushed, damaged, destroyed forever. But you have to care for yourself. You cannot pour from an empty cup. See friend, there is much for you to do. There is destiny unfolding all around you. Have you ever felt divinely guided? Have you ever felt like you've just arrived in the right place at the right time, where you've just sort of had the right connections to the right people? It's just unfolded in the most beautiful and organic way. That that is the ease and flow that you are supposed to live your life in. You are supposed to be divinely guided. You know, I always love to remind you that who is for you and, and what is for you, they are never going to go past you. If, if you just stay in your lane, if you just hold on to your authentic power. But every day, you and I go out into the world and we give away that authentic power. We exchange a little of our peace for a few more hours of overtime at work. We exchange a little of our joy for a little disharmony at home. We exchange a little of our peace for something else feeling like it's not going right. Every day we give away a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more until there's nothing left of us and our dreams. In this season and in the lead up to February's new moon, I want to remind you, friend, it's okay to take time for you. It's okay to have a mental health day. It's okay to not be okay. As long as you try again tomorrow, there is much work for you to do. There is much work for you to do in alignment with your dream and destiny unfolding. But if you aren't looking for it, if you aren't ready for it, if your spirit is not prepared and leading the way, you don't ever see it. And so what happens is we go around the same mountain once again. You know, I was just talking to my sister about this just this week. She is the most incredible human ever. What a gorgeous soul. I'm so blessed by her. And I've shared stories on this channel with you before about the dysfunction surrounding my mother growing up. While I haven't had anything to do with my mother for a long time, my mother still occasionally tries to crack the shell that is my sister. She will somehow find an email address or a phone number or something and she just doesn't stop pushing boundaries down. Well, of course, during the week, after so long of 
Being left alone, my sister's peace is shattered. When somehow a mystery email turns up to a work address and no one has any idea how she ever got this email address. But this is just typical of the sorts of things she will do. And the email was a few paragraphs laden with manipulation and heavy with, with, with emotive language and just the typical sorts of things that we would expect. And my beautiful dear sister, she just, she just lost her peace. And I said to her, this is not about mum. This is about you. And this will keep happening until you learn that this is not about mum. Every time this happens and you respond in this way, you reinvite the same set of circumstances. Can't you see that? See, if this is going to be a potential in our lives for the rest of our lives, and it is, then we need to learn how to manage that so that we don't give away our inner environment. We don't exchange our peace on the inside for something that's trying to penetrate it from the outside. I said to my sister what I say to you all the time. If you tell me that something in your outer world can shift your inner world so much that you lose your peace, then we're a victim to that thing and we ain't no victims. It's time to shift perspective. And when she calmed down out of the energy, and it takes a little while for those hormones of stress, as you know and I know, to come back down. But as she came back down, she said, you know what, Ben, you're right. This is not about mum at all. This is not about her pushing boundaries. She's done this all of our life. This is about how I handle it. And this is an opportunity for me to practice a new way of handling this so I don't have to give away some more of my peace. Just like my beautiful sister had that reckoning during the week and that opportunity to see that revelation for what it truly is, in the lead up to February's new moon, you too, friend, will have similar opportunities. You will have opportunities where you can dive right into the deep end. You can jump into that rabbit hole and you can take as many people with you as you can. And you can sit in the anger and the disappointment and the frustration and the, uh, the fear and the anxiety and the concern and the depression. Or you can recognize that nothing in the outer world can shift your inner environment unless you permit it to. Practice holding your peace in this season. Practice carrying it with you. Pay attention to where it is that you're becoming escalated. What are the things that are triggering you? See, those are the areas where you need to put your focus. Those are the areas you need to stand up tall, put your shoulders back, and stop giving away your peace. This is the time to do that work. Now, I love you, friend. I hope that this has encouraged you today. Please make sure that you share the video, and I'll see your gorgeous, smiling face again soon. Peace.